Alright, fuckers, welcome back to FIFA 18, the Aberdeen career mode. This is episode 2, and today, no, we're not going to be shagging cheap. We're going to be trying and sign some new players. Maybe we'll be offloading some of the crap players too, but first of all, we want to improve the squad. So, no, I was having a look at the squad, and to be honest, there's not one particular area that like stands out to me and goes, fuck, we desperately need you know, a new player. I think if I could pick one position to improve, it would probably be the left back. We've got Constantine in there at the moment, and I would like, you know, a better option. So I have listed one left back in my uh, short list. But here you go, here are six players that I was looking and I'd like to negotiate with. So we've got Rory McKenzie, CEM for Kilmarnock, he's profiled at 1.2, he's 23 years of age. We've got Ali Crawford, a Hamilton, 25 years old, valued at 1.1. Got uh, Calvin Miller. I think this would be a great buy for us. Apparently, he can play strikers too, but it's it's most it's most composition as left back. Celtic have Kieran Tierney. The never this guy is never going to be number one while Tierney's there. I think maybe we can actually lure him to Pataudry. I'm going to try my best. Um, we also have another nineteen year old face Celtic who have listed Christopher Agier, centre back. Again, I think this would be a good, um, just be a good squad player for us. He's not getting much game time or any game time at Celtic. Maybe we can get him. Josh Windass, maybe. We, we do need another winger, probably. Our team kind of lacks pace. We've got good attacking players, but not not pacey ones, you know, if, I'm, if you're, you know where I'm coming from. We've got Josh Windass here, 23 years of age. He's not got much pace either, if I'm being completely honest, like, but... I just think we could do probably another wide attacking midfielder, so we're going to go with him. And then we've got Jamie Walker, someone that I would love to bring to the club. He's probably the highest valued person here at 1.9 million. He's on 5,300 weekly wage. So I think we'll struggle to get Jamie Walker, 24 years of age, but he does want to leave Hearts. That might give us an opportunity. I don't think he necessarily wants to come to Aberdeen. I think he wants a bigger step in his career than that. But you know what? We will try. My, my most important signing, though, believe it or not, is probably going to be... It's going to, yeah, it's going to be Jamie Walker. Fuck it. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to try and sign Jamie Walker. Come on, Jamie, man. We've got all the sheep in the world. You can take your pick. Here we go. <laughs> I'm only kidding about the sheep thing, man. It's, it's a running joke, so I guess, I guess I've got to run with it. But here we go, man. Hello. Glad you made it. Let's take a seat. This guy looks like Messi, doesn't he? This guy stole Messi's face, he's just cut his face off and stuck it onto himself. Um, what's this supposed to be Jamie Walker? That's no Jamie Walker. Oh no, that's Aberdeen, it's supposed to be the Aberdeen. It's supposed to be the Hearts manager. <laughs> offer transfer fee, here we go. I'm going to offer... See, he's only got 12 months in his contract left. I'm going to offer... I'm going to offer 1.2 because he does have 12 months left, you know, on his contract. So... I believe that may get the job done. Hearts rep. I don't know why we're this guy. I could have swore. I could have swore I picked the black dude. Yeah, it's giving me this guy, so. Oh well, interesting enough. Current value 1.9. They want 1.8. Let's see if we can counter. I'm going to try and meet him somewhere in the middle. I said 1.2, he said 1.8, let's go bang in the middle, 1.5, and uh, let's see how he reacts to that. Come on, he'll, he'll just leave at the end of the summer for free, so you may as well cash in and get a bit of money, you know what I mean? We're getting closer, but that offers slightly below what we're willing to accept, we will let low. Oh, so they want an extra 50,000, tight, miserable bastards. Uh, we're going to go ahead and accept that. I'd love to get Jamie Walker in, so let's see if we can make it happen. We don't want this negotiation to fall through, so we're on to pay the 1 million point five fifty eight Transfer fee you've been asking for. Cheers, mate. Shake of the hand, and on we go on our ways. So now we have to go and offer him a contract, but before we do that, we're going to have to go here and try and sign some of the other players. Now, I'm not going to go into the negotiations with all of them. With some of the other guys, I'm just going to get the assistant manager to try and bid on them. Rory McKenzie, I think we're willing to start at 500 and we'll, we'll maybe go to, I think we'll go to 8 max. Uh, Ali Crawford, again, he's on his last year, so I think we're just going to do this exact same thing again. 500. 
and eight max. To be honest, these would probably be the m m my least two that I want. Well, maybe maybe Windass. But at least, I mean, we do have all the right positions and a centre like centre attack midfield. We are pretty stacked in that area. But they're just two good players. So I wouldn't mind that them, but I don't think we necessarily need these guys. So we don't get. I'm not going to be too disappointed. Uh, again, Josh Windass will just delegate that. We'll let the assistant manager do that. I think you he think he's what's he worth? Not much. <laughs> Let's say we'll offer three hundred and don't go higher than what four, four fifty. Crazy, he's not that good like. But Calvin Miller, I'm definitely gonna go and try and buy. So let's get stuck into negotiations here. I have no, I didn't even scout this guy. I have no idea what rating is. He could be about fucking forty one rated. No, you know, I'm about to go and pay ten million for him. What a mistake that would be, right? Let's go on the same page here. Offer transfer fee. We're willing to offer you for Calvin Miller. I think. I don't even know nothing about the kid, so I'm just gonna go with five hundred and see where. I hope I'm not overpaying, like, straight away. Celtics rep, I think that's a fair offer for Miller. See, have I fucked up here, because... Right, hold on here. I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to go and scout this kid, because... I don't even know, man. He could, like... He might not even be worth that. Um, how do I get my... How do I get it up? Two seconds. I'm losing track here. I'm losing the plot. Uh, Calvin Miller. Just see if we can see a wee bit more about the kid, because... I mean, if he's not a good player, then there's really no point, you know what I mean? <laughs> no point paying that money for him. Um, but, well, right, so we're scouting him, and we've got... Christopher Adger as well, who I would like to bring in. Can't we get him? We'll, we'll see. I'll do this delegate to buy nonsense as well. Again, I don't really know much about him, I think we'll offer... Let's offer start at four hundred. Um, maybe willing to go to seven fifty. Seven fifty. I think yeah, I think that's a fair deal. So there is the offers. We will see how we get on here. We can actually probably scout him as well. I don't know. No, nah, we'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll, we'll see how we we'll see how we get on. As we advance, we could do some training though. That's what we need to do. So I'm going to set up training here, especially for the young boys, our youngest players, try and get them. I'm looking forward to contract negotiations. Uh, so both of these guys definitely want to come. Broken down negotiation for Adjir, Josh Windass and Ali Crawford. Still, we don't know on Rory McKenzie, but we're going to go ahead and stick some players on the training right now and try and get them improved. So who have we got? Ad, let's go. Well, we'll do one for each. Uh, McLennan. I think we should improve Stevie Maker. He's still twenty four and he's still fucking. He can still learn, you know. So, attacking scenarios. Well, well, he can train on that. I'm gonna try and train a player for each position. Wingers. Well, Stewart twenty seven. Mackay Stevens twenty six. Ross. I don't really want to train anyone here. We could maybe train Wright, who's nineteen years of age. We'll have a look at who else we've got. Tansy, Shinny, McLean, Christie. I mean, we could. We could do Christy, but is he going to be our player in the long run? That's what I'm actually worried about. I think we'll try and train Shinny. I like Shinny. Intermediate defense. I uh, will. Well, maybe working on his pass through the gates. Um, we'll, we'll work on fission. Um, who else can we? Yes, well, maybe McLean. I will. We'll train McLean as well. Because 25 is still relatively young, you can still learn at that age. We've got O'Connor, Reynolds is 30, there's no point training him. We've got this O'Connor guy, we'll definitely train him centre back, he's only 24. Um, we can definitely improve him. Oh fuck, I went into me, I don't want to go into me. I want to go into the last one. And goalkeepers, is it, have we got any goalkeepers worth training up? Probably not. Joe Lewis, 29, he's not going to get much better in our full backs. We've got Logan, 29. Constantine, 30, Harvey, not really worth training any of those guys. I guess I'll just go and train. Who, who are we going to train there? Maybe that's right, dude. He's 56, almost 57. Um, don't know, unless I say... Why don't we just... We could train Christy. We'll just train him, because I would like to try and make it. I would like to try and um, make his deal permanent. So we, if we get him up, we can maybe make it permanent. So we're going to go ahead and simulate them all. See how we got on. 
May got a C, Shinny got a C, McLean got a B, O'Connor got a B, and Christie also got a B, so not bad there, not bad at all. Like, come on, let's see here who we can get in. Are we going to, oh shit, we need to go and start the uh, contract negotiations with, uh, what's their face, Jamie Walker and, ah, uh, so Rory McKenzie not coming either. Jamie Walker and Kelvin Miller, we need to go ahead and try and start these negotiations. So let's go ahead and negotiate. Well, let's, let's hear him out, see what he's willing to accept. Um, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Contract. Prospect. I think I might have way overpaid for this kid, and if I have, I just really don't want to. Oh, he wants a three year deal? Right, well, suppose, why not? Five mil. Oh my god, the, the release clause is more than I'm paying for him? I think that's just told me straight away that. Oh, that's absolutely shocking, hold on. Five hundred. What? Oh my god, so I've just fucked up. Apparently we've just insulted him. I was gonna give him five hundred pound in wages. I can't imagine he'd be getting much more than that at Celtic. So I'm pretty straight. I'm pretty um surprised that that didn't happen, but anyway, truthfully. I think I was maybe overpaying for him. I don't, maybe, if I don't rate him as much as, you know, he is in the game. So, squad role, yes. Obviously, Jamie Walker. Who, let's get Jamie Walker. We failed with Calvin Miller. I'm not going to fail this time. We want Jamie Walker. We want him on a four-year deal. Yes, that's what we're after. My client is considering um, release clause. He doesn't want one. I want a release clause. Hold on, I want... 3.5 mil, let's see if is there any chance that Jamie Walker will 3.4 um, I'll go ahead and just deny it actually, we don't necessarily need one so we can move forward and uh, let's straight to top money let's see on current wage, 5,300 uh, I'll just offer him 5,500 and a signing bonus of you know, maybe 30k. I'll go 50k actually. I'm just thinking. Oh, he wants. I don't know, that's what I'm offering. I don't know what I mean. It's 50k. Hopefully, I'm hoping this isn't an insulting offer. That's a fair offer, my client is happy with that, good stuff. So there you go, there's the wee handshake, and unless there's any problems, Jamie Walker should become a Hearts player. Always be closing, I think he's a, yes, secure a player on your first try, so already, Jamie Walker has become a Hearts player, absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the other guys, but we've got one in, we've got Jamie Walker, probably the best player there, I think he's 72 rated, so he should be joining up with the club rather shortly, but... I still would like for us to get a left back. Leeds have shown it. Oh my god, Graham Shinney, not a fucking chance, man. Mate, you are absolutely going nowhere. Let's um reject. Oh wait, how can we block? No, oh, we don't want to block in case that upsets him. We'll just uh, reject. Flat out reject, man. Graham Shinney, one of our better players. We do not want to lose him. But let's see now. Can we bring in. Have we got any updates on Calvin Miller? I was scouting him. Like his stats are not that great, are they? Like, I mean. Don't get me wrong, he could turn into a good player, but at the moment, he's just not quite there, is he? What I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go and set up um, instructions here, because I do want to get a, a new left-back. So we're going to go for left-back, attributes, um, first-team quality, and we get someone like someone pacey, because Thingy's pacey, oh, what's his face? Shea Logan, so it would be good if we could have someone also pacey. 
and also maybe let's have a quick look at a, a left mid maybe a left midfielder again someone first team quality maybe um someone promising as well we'll go for someone promising so we're gonna have a just scout man and see what happens here try and bring in a couple more players before the start of the season but definitely delighted to bring in Jamie Walker I've got a feeling he'll probably go straight into the team might have to put him on the train as well but I'll be surprised if we don't put him right in there. Charlie Clark, international management. I don't give two shits about international management. Uh, apparently we can do some training now, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll also check our mail. Final scout report on Calvin Miller. So let's see. His value is only 170, and he's only 57 rated. Could you imagine if I had bought him? I'd have been absolutely got it. He does have good pace, so 76 what, acceleration, 76 speed. I would like to buy him. I think he could, you know, turn into a good player. If if, I, if we did get him, I'd stick him straight on the, uh, you know, training and try and train him up. Um, well, hold on, who else we got here? Miles Beerman, range of player, also promising. Um, I would like to try and sign Miles Beerman actually, but I don't know if Rangers would sell him. We'll scout him anyway. We'll see because we do need a left back. Look what? Um, nope. Craig Kelly. I don't think we're gonna get him. John John Declan. Uh, so I think he's placed for Rangers currently. No, he's on loan at Rangers currently. Plays for Cardiff. So let's see transfer offer for Mark Reynolds. Leeds again. Why are Leeds coming in trying to steal all my players? Not happening. No danger. No son. Back down the the M six M eight to England. We are no getting him. Right. So let's go ahead here and look and see if any of the scouts have brought back anybody to. Ah, so that's who they brought in there to my attention, John Declan, but. It's no good giving me him because we can't sign him. Left midfielders, we've got Dennis Johnson there. Norwegian, plays for Ajax. He looks pretty good. Well, we'll go ahead and scout him a wee bit further. And Craig Gelty, who I just don't really want to sign because uh, I've signed him in my career and I just don't really want to sign the same player twice. But we'll advance and we'll see what we can get done here as we approach the start of the season. Um, we've got another transfer offer, this time it's QPR, if it was Leeds again I'd have just bloody, I don't know what I'd have done. Probably would have sent a bomb parcel to Leeds or something, but no, it wasn't the Leeds, it was QPR, but again it's the same answer, no, we're not selling, I'm, I'm not selling any of my, I'm, I'm looking to improve the team, not, you know, uh, make them worse, so. Again, we'll start uh, training, see how the guys got on. C C D D A, not bad. Ryan Christie getting the A. Happy days, happy bloody days indeed. Let's have a quick look at the squad now. We will chuck Jamie Walker in. Where is he? Big Jamie. Don't know why he's not got a face. He's only seventy eight. I thought he'd got more than that, but nah, he's no. So we'll put Jamie Walker in. Maybe put, we'll put him in for Stuart. Sure, right, why not? Um, and Christie, we do might kind of would like Christie in, wouldn't we? But apparently not over McLean. Well, I guess we can. He can be on the bench. And, I'm pretty happy with how this team's actually beginning to look. You know what, just a couple more players in, in the, like mid to high 60s, and I think that's what we need. I mean, I think we've got a good first 11. It's just if we get any more than a couple injuries or the rest of the depth in the team isn't that great. So that's what we're looking for. Just try to bring in a few more players. I'll advance it a few more days and then go back and see if they've given us any updates in the uh, scouting positions for the left back and... The other position that we're looking for that I can't remember. Left mid, I think, guy. So there you go. Come on. I could probably do with getting another centre-back in, to be honest. We do have good centre-backs, but two of our centre-backs are pretty old. So that's the only problem. We've got a loan offer here for Dan. Left back. Yeah, I know what. We'll go ahead. We'll just go ahead and accept that. We will not be using him. And if we can loan him out, if he can get experience and we can get some money in from it, then I'm more than happy to let him go. We'll get him back at the end of the season. So if he's improved any, you know what I mean? It's all good. And the hood. And uh, Daniel Harvey's loan move has been rejected, so he's not going to be going to Shamrock Rovers. He's staying put. Why it got rejected, I don't quite know, but we'll see. Uh, final scout on Miles Beerman. Uh, he's worth 600k wage, 3,900. He's only 18 years of age. Acceleration 89, agility 89, balance 86, sprint speed 85. I would love to sign him. We'll go ahead and uh, add him to the uh, transfer hub. And we will see if we can get him. I'm not quite sure if we will, but we'll try our best. Uh, Louis Moe, another guy I would not mind signing. Uh, this kid is a free agent per Eagle Flow. We'll go ahead and scout him, why not? Add him to the transfer list, he looks decent. Uh, Fraser Murray, we don't want him. 
Anyone else here? We got a wee look at Chris Boyd. No, thank you. Uh, look what? Nah, you're all right. 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 Jordan Jones, maybe. You're all right. Jordan Jones. You know what? I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head and see if we can get this Jordan Jones guy. Um. Right. So. Oh fuck! I didn't check the message. The other, the other guy that we scouted. Dennis Johnson, is this kid any worth saying? He looks alright, he's worth 1.5 million Norwegian place for Ajax. We'll shortlist him, you know what I mean? Probably not going to get the guy, like, but we'll, we'll shortlist him and we'll make an attempt. Just to fans up here and then we will go in again with those bids and see if we can get the players that we want. It looks like we've got a game coming up rather soon. Um. I think on the, when is it? I don't know there, hold on. Trans Aston Filler went Joe Lewis, absolutely no danger mate, not a chance, not a dinger of a chance. He's getting rejected, right. So I'm going to go in here to, wait one more time, we will check and see if they've brought any new, uh, so Declan John, still just him, and on the left, we've got a few more updates here. Garcia, Gorfia, uh, well, Fla Flavik Cerny, good player, Brandon Barker. Ah, he's just on loan at him, so I can't really sign him. Uh, Craig Guilty now plays for FC Melt, so come on, I have sold him. <laughs> Fladik Cerny, good player. I've had him in uh, my last career mode. Would not mind him like, bringing him in again, to be honest. I think we'll go ahead and actually see if we can get him in and scout him while we're at it, because he is a good player, so if I could bring him in, I would uh, I'd love to. Like So we'll see how that goes. Um, But that is probably going to do it. I'm going to try and actually sign a few of the players now. So let's see here, who have we got? We've got Miles Beerman. We're going to go ahead and try to get him. Fabi, that's the player. Is, oh my god, so we don't want to get rid of him, that's fair enough. This guy is valued. At, he's, he's a free agent, you know what I mean? So I don't know why not. I'm just going to go ahead and try and sign the guy. Free agent, like, why not? Let's see here. Squad role. I'm willing to give you. We'll say rotation for now, but maybe. Alright, he wants important. Fair enough. If he's worth 600k, he must be a decent player, you know what I mean? So, offer you, offer you two years, just because I know you maybe don't want to be here for... Yes, that's what we want. Disregard the clause fee. There's no need for the clause fee. Wage, what kind of wage would be on? I'm going to say, not 10k, like, I'm going to offer him... I'm going to offer him 3k and maybe a 40k signing bonus. And we'll see if he accepts that. Oh my god, apparently they're on Sullen. Why didn't he just tell... Oh, Manchester City apparently want him too. Should have just told me that he wanted um, a better deal and I would have gave him it. That's disappointing, that is. Uh, Jordan Jones, we could get him. Johnson, Dennis Johnson. Cerny. Right, I'm going to try and get Cerny here. We'll oh, start the offer. Offer a mil. I think we'll, we'll go up to one point. We'll go up to 1.5 and oh, we can only go up to 1.3 because that's all we've got left. So uh, there you go, man. Disappointing enough to get that wee kid there. I thought it could have turned out to be a good player, but just wasn't to be. And now the Premier League season is a bit underway. Let's see, transfer again, Mark Reynolds. He is getting up there, but he is one of our better defenders. So again, I'm going to go ahead and reject that. No thought really put into it. Um, we can't get Fladik Cerny. Is there any chance we can actually bring in a left back before the start of the season? Again, they're not really giving me any options to get anybody who's relatively good. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, who can we get? I don't bloody know. Right. Who are actually kicking the season off against anyway? Defenders in talks with over Piatti. So we're kicking the season off against Ross County. Which is fair enough. Fair enough. I wonder if we can, can we go and try and sign that wee guy, that Norwegian guy again? Maybe he'll, maybe he wants to come back, you know. I mean, let's see. No, he's not looking for a new club, so. Damn it. He wanted to if, if he'd have just told me, like, because those stats are no bad. If he'd have just told me, then obviously we would have, you know, got around to doing that. But he didn't tell me, and uh, we're pretty much screwed now because we can't sign him. And I don't think we can get anyone else. Has there been any updates in the left-back position? No, there's not. 
There's not. So let's have a quick look. Who's they got here? Atta, a second, that guy's just joined. Again, there's some players here. Wang Pang Yo, uh, Danny Swanson, Garcia, Swanee, Furman, Mohamed, Rico, Flap, uh, Nico Cranker, Ryan Thompson, Paul McGowan, this guy Yangi Shippy, uh, could we get him? Ship Shi Shang. <laughs> no way. I'll maybe go ahead and try and get this wee kid. I think he could do the business. Unless there's any other left backs here, no. Right, so let's go ahead here. We'll see if we can get this guy. I don't think we're going to have time to get him before the Ross County match, but we'll all try because he actually looks, he looks a decent wee player, you know, and that's what it's all about, bringing in the decent wee players. But guys, that's going to do it then for this episode, so next time out we'll be back, it'll be me and Gaming Jesus, man, we'll be smashing the teams, we'll be taking on Kilmarnock in the first episode, and we'll also be seeing if we can bring anyone else into the team I've already brought the player, the manager rating down to 79, so obviously I'm, I'm shite at this game. Need big GW to come in and save us, and that will happen later on tonight. Hopefully we get this uploaded. But until then, guys, this has been the Aberdeen career mode. Let me know down below, who do you want me to sign? I thought Jamie Walker was a good signing, but I think we need at least one or two more players. So let me know down below. Give me someone realistic. Who can we bring to Aberdeen that will maybe not, not even get into, don't even have to get into the first 11, but they can just improve the squad overall. Let us know down below. But until next time, guys, being son of Scotland, GW's no been here, but we've been full gaming together. His spirit lives on. Peace.